Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Weekly Winners Magic the Gathering Market Movers Edition. We're going to go over the biggest winners of the week. But before we do that, I want to let you guys know that tomorrow I'm having my 16,000 subscribers celebration stream at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is going to be on New Year's Day, so please stop by the channel for that. It's going to be a blast, but be sure to be subscribed before you do that for the giveaways on the stream. With that being said, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. Now, let's get moving. Underworld Breach from Theros Beyond Death up 33.12% this week from $16.82 to $22.39 for its market price and its average price is $24.99. The extended art version of this card is sitting at $23.60 for its market price and its average price is $31.25. This card has had two very successful weeks. Will it be on the winner's week again next week? Let me know in the comment section. Runic Armasaur from Corset 2019. This rare has went up 34.37% this week from $3.23 to $4.34 for its market price, and its average price is $3.95. We've got Sanguine Bond from Iconic Masters. This card is up 38.11% from $3.07 to $4.24 for its market price, and its average price is $3.69. The Magic 2010 version of this card, which is the original printing, is currently sitting at $2.92 for its market price, and its average price is $3.80. And the most recent printing of this card was from Time Spiral Remastered as a retro frame card, and that version of the card is sitting at $4.03 for its market price, and its average price is $4.04. Next up on the list is Their Name is Death from Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k. This card has went up 41.38% this week from $2.61 to $3.69 for its market price and its average price is $4.64. The Surge Foil version of this card is a lot more expensive, currently sitting at $7.21 for its market price and its average price is $34.95. Next up is Wedding Ring from Commander Innistrad Crimson Vow. This mythic is up 45.01% this week from $10.93 to $15.85 for its market price and its average price is $13.97. The extended art version of this card from the collector packs is sitting at $13.07 for its market price and its average price is $16.98. Next up is Cyberdrive Awakener, and this is the extended art version of this card from Commander Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This card has went up 60.99% this week, from $4.87 to $7.84 for its market price, and its average price is $7.45. The regular version of this card is actually more expensive, sitting at $10.22 for its market price, and its average price is $11.42. Reflections of Lit Jara from Kaldheim. This card has went up 120.75% this week from $1.59 to $3.51 for its market price, and its average price is $2.19. The extended art version of this card from the collector packs is currently sitting at $2.66 for its market price, and its average price is $2.50. This card also had another printing from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate, sitting at $1.33 for its market price, and its average price is $1.44. The next winner of the week is a Jumpstart 2022 common card, Creeping Bloodsucker. This card has went up 148.72% this week from $1.17 to $2.91 for its market price and its average price is $3.14. And yes, this is a Jumpstart 2022 exclusive card, so it's the only printing of it available. And our biggest winner of the week is Chaos Defiler from Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k. This card has went up 268.89% this week from $2.25 to $8.30 for its market price, and its average price is $9.97. And the Surge Foil version of this card is a lot more expensive, currently sitting at $16.72 for its market price, 
and its average price is $30. And yes, this card does see legacy play in Painter's decks as well as in the Commander format. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers Winners of the Week edition. If you do like these videos, please remember to leave a like down below in the description. It really helps the channel out and lets the algorithm know that people are enjoying this type of content and I'll keep making it if you guys watch them. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite winner of the week. I'd love to read that down below in the comment section. So drop one down there for me to read. Also, I make these every single Saturday, so come back again next weekend for another weekly winner's edition. Another reminder, I am doing my 16,000 subscriber celebration stream tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so please subscribe before the stream starts so you can join the chat. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. With that being said, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and have a fantastic weekend. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.